Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Join this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway, the people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Hey guys, welcome to the Awesome Cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and uh, this is the podcast where we uh, talk tech, get geeky with you uh, here every Tuesday night at live.awesomecast.net, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. With me back in the studio, he's back in Studio A, on the couch, it's John Chichilla. Hey, it's good to be back. Awesome. And also, we got some very special guests. Uh, they got a, a big thing coming up this Friday we're going to talk about in just a moment. But we got, uh, where are they at? Where's my button? There they are. TJ and Jamie from Does This Hold Up? A great, great podcast uh, happening here in Pittsburgh. How are you doing, guys? Good, Good. man. Good. Thanks Good. for having us. Coming to you live from the Baltimore riots. <laughs> Yeah, this is easily like I don't know. You, of course, on audio, you're, you're hearing this on audio, but these these guys have definitely the best Google Hangout setup I think we've ever seen on this show. <laughs> yeah, we do. Thank you. <laughs> I take pride in my Google Hangout setup. I, it, it's an award that we've won. What is it now? Four, five years running. <laughs> best home studio design yeah. by ninety three one. The, the buzz. buzz. The yeah. buzz. I was listening to your buzz today. <laughs> it was oh, awesome. No. <laughs> well, I want to touch base with you <laughs> guys. In a moment, but in the meantime, please everybody check out awesomecast.net. We got the mini awesome cast and we got a great awesome chat coming up this week with John Chamberlain of yajagoff.com. Had a lot of fun talking with him last week and we got some great stuff already. First three episodes are planned out here um, and, and we got some really exciting guests coming up and I want to see where it goes from there. So look for that this Thursday at awesomecast.net plus mini awesome cast four days a week uh, ish. I still don't know if I can do Friday uh, with a conference this week, but uh, I'll be out there in Blair. Blairsville for uh, for a lifestyle medicine conference for that kind of stuff. You can also drop us a line. We're um, AwesomeCast on Twitter. Look for us on Facebook, on Google+. We got the Facebook group going on. And subscribe to us wherever you uh, watch your videos and listen to your podcasts uh, on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, all the links over at AwesomeCast.net. And like I said, join us here live.awesomecast.net um every tuesday at 7 p.m eastern time so so guys uh, you guys got something really cool first tell people what does this hold up uh what do you guys do on that that podcast okay it's a movie review podcast we take films we kind of give it a criteria they got to be at least 10 years old we kind of just make fun of them really go through the story and at the end we go around the room and everybody gives their say does or does this movie not hold up Mm -hmm. but Kind of. Uh, <laughs> that's the general idea. We get a little sidetracked almost every episode. But. Yeah, we, the, the whole purpose of the show is we love comedy. We wanted to be in comedy some way, shape, or form. And uh, we loved uh, talk radio, Opie and Anthony, stuff like that. So mm-hmm. we figured let's let's find some. How someone. can we mash those things up together? How do we get in? And yeah. be on the internet and do it instead <laughs> of being in front of a big crowd. Yes. I like the logos you got up there. Oh, there you go. Sweet. There you go. And, 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 and I like uh, you guys, and, and you're part of the Epicast Network, and there's a lot of yeah. comedians involved with this this network. I've, I ran into a, a couple of guys from there at uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh last year, and it's definitely, like, I, I love the different feel that you guys have that I'm not see, hearing in a lot of podcasts these days. Thank you. We, uh, we, we don't get paid, so why not just have fun? Is it fun? because we're brothers? <laughs> Is that what you mean? We share a closeness no other podcasting duo can do. Yeah. That's the vibe, it's right? That, there, it is, there it is. I wish I could get a podcast going with my brother. Actually, he's joining me on the video game podcast tonight, so we'll <laughs> see how it. that goes. So. Right. Posers. We're not unique then. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, we can't cuss. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Just a little bit. Just a little I bit. I won't. I won't anymore. I, I do have to say, I am counting. I, I I'm going to be honest, I didn't listen to your podcast until today. In fact, I didn't even Come know it on. existed until today. <laughs> but I do have to say, I am counting the days until next Easter when when Paul Walker will rise again for oh, yet man. another that Fast and curious. Furious review. Yeah, every Easter, we have a bit of a tradition. We just actually it just started this year, so it's a one-time thing. Um, but we, for the next seven Easter's, yeah. we know what we're doing. We're <laughs> At least for the next 11 months. Yeah. You know, we know next Easter we're doing Fast and Furious, so... Tune in for that. There you go. There you go. Well, you got a big event coming up, and um, you know we, we talked with uh, 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 John about your Jagoff. He was actually uh, did something as well down at the Arcade RK Comedy Theater. I got to check out at least two shows here, doing camera for Sister Sorella down there. Really cool space. But uh, tell people what you're doing down there this Friday. 
this right. this yeah. week, Friday, uh, May first, we're live. Like you said, Arcade Comedy Theater. It is the best comedy venue in Pittsburgh right now. Yeah, voted um, best by Pittsburgh Magazine best comedy venue. <laughs> yeah, they, like they cater to things that we like, so we love going there. And um, we're celebrating episode one hundred. But don't look at oh, the episode. Yeah, look list. here it comes. Ooh, oh. fatty with a lightsaber. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Look at my aggressive overhand. Look, I'm chopping you. You're, You're going more... up. I'm coming down. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm the aggressor. You're blocking. Oh, we think. should have planned that out a little bit better. But anyway, we're live at Arcade Comedy Theater doing our favorite movie. I, I mean, we've both seen this movie a, a bazillion times. So oh, yeah. Star Wars, episode four, A New Hope. Yeah. Awesome. Tons of comedians. All of our friends are coming through. A bunch of people from our Epic Cast Network family are going to come down. We're going to talk about different shows that you know you can find on that network. And then we're going to bring out three of our just superstar guests, people who have been on the show multiple times. Uh, Ryan Thompson, Travis Walling, and who's the last you one? You forget. Those yeah. I'm <laughs> Alex DePula. Oh, Alex <laughs> DePula. God, I'm terrible. And then uh, we're, we're bringing out Ep- – we're talking so much on your own show. Um <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. have, that's why uh, you're here three of our like you said epicast network buddies and um if we, one thing about epicast that's uh cool is they're trying to push podcasting forward which i'm sure you guys respect certainly definitely definitely awesome so uh we'll get into some awesome things everybody please go check it out please check out the uh epicast in general and of course does this hold up on uh all your podcasting means i think i have them yep. on i think i have I have, a, I have a twofer i have them on my podcast app and stitcher so I'm double awesome. down for you. Thank okay. you. So every play a, counts. Thank every you. play Please counts. That's right. You. Double downloads. Okay. All right. <laughs> but, is, is your show on Fridays that being recorded? Yes, yes. that'll be Perfect. our episode 100. Nice, cool. nice. So we just skipped it on our uh, episode list. So <laughs> if you see that we're on 103, um, don't worry about that. We'll come back to it, right? Um, I yeah. think Fat Man on Batman did something like that. Like they skipped episode like 66. So they could talk about the Batman 66 or whatever year that was and came back to it for that special episode. It's all right. You know what? It's your podcast. You get to make up the numbers, right? <laughs> we make the rules. Want. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Let's go. Right. Well, yeah, let, let's let you guys go first with your awesome thing of the week. Um, uh, tell, tell us what the, this Path of Exile is. We both have our own. Jamie has his own. but Mine is... Uh, uh, it's a video game. It's a PC game. That's it's fine. called Path of Exile, which isn't new. It's not an awesome thing of the week. But what they're doing right now, um, the game, first of all, is crowdfunded completely. Nice. So everything that they have, and it's it's basically, if you've ever played Diablo or Diablo 2, any like normal like loot getter, dungeon crawler, um, action <laughs> RPG. Loot getter? Is that what yeah, they're that, doing in that's Baltimore? The, that's the technical term. Okay. <laughs> loot getter. Ooh, an idea for a new game. Okay. It's called Injustice. All right. Oh, <laughs> I don't think, I think somebody has that. <laughs> oh, all right. But basically, I, I'm between titles. Keep going. <laughs> it's it's a, uh, a crowdfund and they just released their newest beta, which is like, that's what the best part about this game is, is there's so many updates and it's all 100% free if you don't want to pay anything. I like things I don't have to pay for. Yeah. Don't we all? Completely free, the most ridiculous graphics, and the only yeah. RPG that has me like playing it any free minute that I get. Was that your game footage right there? Was that was, you that was me playing live. <laughs> yeah. Lots of fire. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. Is it is it like a freemium model they're looking at? Kind of like the uh, game uh, Heroes of the Storm I've been playing? It's similar. Uh, you got a beta key for that. That's awesome. Um, what it is is... Uh, you basically can buy microtransactions is how they make their money and it's it's not it's not pay to win at all no pay to win i hate pay to win mm-hmm. it's only cosmetics like you can buy uh, well you can buy more stash tabs i guess so that that's kind of pay to win do you guys what games do you guys play um, I, a little bit of everything. Right now, I'm playing WWE Immortals on my phone more than anything. Um, okay. But <laughs> generally, like Bioshock, uh, things like that. But I'm, I, you, but you know, the, the the heroes, the heroes of the storm was uh, the perfect timing because I was like, man, I wish I could play Warcraft three again, and I don't know where my disc is or if it would play on any machine I have. And it just came down <laughs> at the right time. So I was like, here's a beta key. I'm like, sweet, perfect timing. For I have me. one too. We'll have to link up. Definitely, definitely. I'm uh, just Sorgatron on there. So uh, Hearthstone as well I've been getting into a little bit just because by way of I downloaded Battle.net and it was like, hey, why don't you try Hearthstone? And I'm like, Hearthstone's awesome. Why the hell not? And now I've 
uh, infected half of the insert coin to begin dot com crew with it. <laughs> so. It's great. I've never played a friend or anybody I know though. Me I've neither. only ever played against random faceless people Me. with those four responses or whatever you can yeah. do on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was weird. I had somebody watching it when I first tried it on the iPhone, and it was weird because I was playing it in the bathroom as you do, and then it's just like <laughs> I feel like I've I've I felt like I was intruded upon a little. My bit. playing in the bathroom is way different, but. I <laughs> A lot of joystick work. I, got, I see where you're going. <laughs> right, well, what's your guys' other awesome thing here? Uh, I brought one. It's the G Project G Boom. Have you heard of this? It's a Bluetooth speaker. No. What's that? It, uh, I I decided I was only going to spend a hundred dollars on a Bluetooth speaker. Like I have to have one at work. Part of my job requires me to be out in a factory, and I listen to podcasts. I listen to talk radio. And when things are running, I've never found. For that price point, $100, a decent Bluetooth speaker. And it's uh, G Project G Boom. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Target. It's only 100 bucks. It kicks butt. It has Is two it? woofers, two tweeters. That's it. Nice. See the things in the back, that last picture? They're called uh, like bass cavities or something in the back right there. Yeah. And it thumps. It It's nice. really loud. You can play it like at a high, high volume and everything still sounds crystal clear. It has uh, USB. It has controls right on the speaker, or you can control them from your phone. And it has also in the back there another like USB port, so you can plug in your phone and charge it while you're streaming music or whatever Jeez, you're playing. That's crazy. And it was only a hundred bucks. It's only a hundred bucks, and it's louder than anything. In at Target, it's next to the Beats pill, the Dr. Dre Beats pill. Yeah. You took us to the. You took that thing to the beach, and we used it the entire vacation. If you see that construction, it's like rugged construction. You can drop it. Actually, <laughs> on the box, it says you can sit on it. <laughs> what has a heavy duty That's handle? Like the like, they don't really yeah. you to take this everywhere. <laughs> That's Ralph Mouth. Sit oh, on sorry. it. Sorry, I'm not as old as you. Fuck Get you. your happy sorry. days references together. <laughs> Dump That's out. Awesome. <laughs> What's the no, battery life uh, like on it? For a hundred bucks, I just think this thing is so awesome. I went through so many trying to find one that was loud enough and clear enough and could survive, you know, in the car or go into the uh, where we take it to the beach when we take it to the boat in the factory. For me, it was like the best best hundred bucks I ever spent. Does does it really get about seven hours of battery life with your phone charging on it? If you just Whoa. leave, if you charge it, you have to charge it. Um, AC, you have to charge it like at a wall outlet, mm-hmm. and it'll go for almost ten. But with your phone plugged in, it goes for about seven or eight hours. Nice. Yeah, see that thing on the side? You can like hook a bungee to that and, <laughs> and secure it to something. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Swing it off the back of a? I want to strap it to my back. <laughs> well, when I'm mudding, sometimes it flies out the back. I need to tether it down to something. That's bungee amazing. Cords. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need a nice bungee cord place to hook. <laughs> with a bluetooth speaker like like, like <laughs> what was the meeting where this became like a feature request yeah. <laughs> or the ones that come with like a carabiner or whatever Guys, those things are the problem is these speakers are flying all around who's got ideas come on spitball something how do we tie <laughs> these things down people a big stainless steel hook on the side done do it <laughs> call it the g boom that's i'm amazing. ready um i do have it listed here at gprojectgear.com i'm sure we can probably find it on amazon we'll have a link in the show notes as well so awesome I, that's great yeah i have one of those unibooms it was like a freebie at some verizon blogger event last year and uh and and, and so that was my my bluetooth jump in point and oh, okay. uh, but this looks way way more interesting than that is and i think it's about the same price point too so. Nice. I need one. I'm definitely you can't bungee look. cord yours. Down I can't there. bungee cord. I can maybe wrap a bungee around the thing. Yeah, what are you going to tie you know, yours down to? <laughs> I mean, they're like, well, this thing doesn't work. It slips out. My bungee yours. slips off of it. And then we just have all kinds of problems. And yours fits in a I, cup holder. Mine, fit, mine fits. It kind of fits in the cup holder. Not really. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just like, you know, I, I, I was tired. It, it's just, it's my car stereo right now. Because <laughs> for the older car that doesn't have the crazy Bluetooth stuff on it, I, I'm just like, I'm tired of it. I'm not doing this radio stuff. I'm just going to yeah. stick this on top of the cup holder and Bluetooth to it. And I I'm... figured it out. Hmm. This is what it's for. It's what? for people like us. We're podcasters. Let's strap this thing to the roof of the car. Play our show really loud. Oh, like like... the old school, like in uh, where they drive around with the giant speaker on um, the roof. Alex and... Mayor Goldie <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> It, the best part of that entire movie, and I'm the only person who knows this, I swear to God, 
is when they're going around the town, there's a movie theater when they're back in what the fifties or whatever. And what movie's playing? The movie is playing is called the The Cattle Queen of Montana. (laughs) (laughs) I think it holds up. Yeah, um, she was great. She was the queen of cattle. Yeah. She, I mean, she was killing it if basically. You're in Montana. Cattle, yeah. You got control of the beef and the milk and cheese situation. <laughs> uh, right. I think we just crossed podcasts here. So. <laughs> Sorry. See, that's how our show goes. That's you fine. Think it's going to be about a movie and then it goes sideways. You know, we had the same problem with because we, we started a wrestling podcast, but it ended up for a long time talking about everything but. But so, mm-hmm. and somehow we've been around for ten years. <laughs> well, I think Awesome Cast seems to cross over almost into everything. I mean, we've covered that's right. the WWE app. We cover video games. We cover, I mean, not in depth video games like no, but Coin, we but graze it. Yeah, we graze it. So. Even bungeable speakers. Yeah, now bungeable you've done speakers. that. So there you go. Well, have, you, have you guys done a done a? Um, does it hold up for pump up the volume? No. no, Christian Slater like a pirate radio movie. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. the the speaker <laughs> the speaker tied to the top of something and reminded me of him in the uh, Jeep. Uh, the thing. <laughs> okay, or say anything. He holds up the boombox now. I say anything. Christian Slater and bungee cords are. I'm, I'm in. Okay. Gleaming the cube was a good one. We sadly we've done that. Yeah. We've gone back to almost every <laughs> skateboard movie there was. You guys will have to pick a movie and come on our show. Oh, oh that'd be cool. We should pick. We should do. You've done hackers. Ooh, Not yet. Pick. That's perfect. Oh, good oh, pick. Should do it. That That's, didn't hold up then. It, it <laughs> barely <laughs> does, but I can't stop watching it. I, I had to buy it like a year ago because I couldn't find it on Netflix one time. That's what's so. And there must be something about that movie because you you can't get it on iTunes no, purchased. No. You can rent it. Yep. You can't get it on Netflix. You can't get it this anywhere. Look into the future of technology. <laughs> you can't get by any technological means. I have my DVD of it. It's just the Gibson stopping you, man. <laughs> it's, it is. And like I go back when I watch the when I watch Hackers. You thought it was the future, right? Like I thought it was set yeah. in the future because the way they represented the internet. I thought it was supposed to be set in some parallel current day. <laughs> I, I mean, look, look, at Jurassic, look at Jurassic Park when it, the, the first one where the girl's like, I know Unix. And it's like this three dimensional <laughs> folder system and she's dragging her mouse to go through. I'm like, really? And they actually did. It, funny enough, I had an old Spark, um, Sun Solar Spark system. They actually had that UI then. We should have an awesome cast where we break down <laughs> computer representation in movies over the well, years. Have you seen... Um, I've never uh, had my whole screen come up and say "access denied," <laughs> and then it, and then it's "access granted," and it goes green. I want that. Oh, where, what's the? There's actually a. And now you're gonna make me look it up. Hold on. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Facebook code. movie was okay. That was a real code. Source fed. Yeah. What about the net? That's Sandra Bullock classic. I'm afraid. You know, that's popped up on HBO or something. And I'm like, man, I should watch this just to see and laugh. <laughs> It wasn't the like, internet was like a mysterious forest back in the 90s. Like, <laughs> it was used in movies as like a scary backdrop. It's mm-hmm. like CB radio. You can really get your voice out there. <laughs> Talk to anyone. There, there's, there's a guy at deeperdesign.wordpress.com Ooh. who does a bunch of um, code review mm-hmm. from movies. And what made me, what caused me to, to get a, to find this was the topic was, is Iron Man made of Lego? And in the first, what they do is they take the snippets of code off the screen in movies and figure out where it's from. And in the first Iron Man movie where he's in the cave, uh, I hope I'm not spoiling anything for someone who hasn't seen the first (laughs) Iron Man Man one. I think we're I think we're past that. (laughs) When when he's bringing when he's bringing the the Mark one online in that cave and where wherever Uh they're at overseas, they actually took the code of of the upload to to the suit. And it's it's code from the Lego, the, the from mechan- Mindstorms. Yeah. <laughs> but, so but, wait, wait, wait! You're uh, telling me that Iron Man suit is just a giant Mindstorm project? Pretty much. Like he do- and he does like a bunch of different, like taking screen captures. Different people submit stuff. Um, I mean, it's it's a pretty cool website for for just finding Let's random. Did random you find it there? Stuff. What's that? <laughs> Did you find Post it? on the forum and ask him how to do the Cookie Monster virus from Mackers. There you go. <laughs> that's that's what we need. Yes. Or the Michelangelo. 
All right, let's bring it around. Hey, you know what? Let's stay on the let's stay on the the super movie geeky side. I, I you know, uh, this really fits for you guys Friday, and maybe we can get you guys one of these uh, by by then. But uh, I actually shared. What do you mean this. Friday? What? Whenever? Oh, yo, maybe we can take. You this mean our through. live show at Arcade Comedy Theater yes, at eight p.m.? Yes, that yeah. one. That okay, one. Yeah. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Promotional masters, right here. Um, but uh, I, I shared this with my wife. She's a bit of a cooking person, and uh, and uh, these are your Star Wars lightsaber BBQ tongs. Yes. Oh, sick! I'm in. <laughs> they're uh, forty bucks up on Amazon. I think it's it's even twenty bucks off as well. But yeah, That's they're yeah, there. Cool. You go. You can <laughs> lightsaber your burger. <laughs> and I think is it light up? I can't. Is there a video, maybe? But uh, there, there's your super geekery right there. Are you guys barbecuing along with this thing Friday at uh, 8 p.m.? We on stage, Comedy? we're going to do live commentary of me uh, barbecuing. It's a cooking demo. <laughs> yeah. That's, I'm going to show like... you how to devein shrimp. It's, it's really entertaining. <laughs> yeah. So go check that out. We'll have a link for that as well on the show notes if you guys want to check I it out. I always think about using a lightsaber for other things. Cooking yeah. has never come up. That yeah. is great. Cutting great meat. You're stranded on hot somewhere. You could warm up a hot dog or something. You're gonna singe that meat a little too much. I like. I my... think it's perfect. I think the force would sense it and like cook it perfect, medium I, rare. I need a. That's what I need. A medium rare yeah. pan to meat. Like I, think... I need a nice leg chunk. Yeah. <laughs> the barbecue is strong with this one. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Chilla. I know you got you got something uh, hanging out on your wrist, and it's not what I think people are, think it's going to be. No, in this world where everybody's getting their Apple Watch or cursing the fact they have to wait three months for their Apple Watch, you walk into my studio with the Motorola 360. Well, <laughs> Moto 360. I have one on too. So, and oh, brothers, nice. <laughs> So I, I I will actually say yesterday I got an update on my Apple Watch order. Apple updated my status of my order. I will get my – I ordered between the third and fourth hour of, of online ordering, and I am May 28th through June 11th. Jeez. So I'm in like wave four or five of, of the Apple Watch orders. Um but that being said, I got the I picked up the Motorola 360 because it was on or Moto 360 because it was on sale. Um, it gets a lot of good reviews in a lot of the podcasts and stuff that I listen to. Um, I will I will say it's it's the screen is great. Um, the one thing that that really bummed me out was in looking at um, a lot of the apps that are coming to to the Apple Watch. There is not much to choose from in the good old Google Play Store. Really? Like, there's, uh, you get all, it, it, actually, what the funny part is, is, it's like this to me right now is like a nice screened pebble. All my notifications come over. Yeah, I can do a couple things. Like, I can get my steps from the Moto Body app and Moto Calorie Counter app and this and this and that. The other thing is the I'm waiting for the new update to come out which is supposed to hit in the next week or two, because the interface seems a little not always spot on. I could not disagree with your statements more. <laughs> now, you've had some more time on this, right? So Yeah, I've had yeah. it for, what, about three, three or four months? Yeah. Um, at least, I, I guess since Christmas. I've had it since Christmas. So uh, I'm an Android fanboy anyway. Like mm, I'm, Okay all in with android i root my phones as soon as i buy them um <laughs> like uh, uh you i don't want to know anything about the apple watch i haven't even read an article um that's it's ridiculous of me I so, so what apps it. are you using that kind of give you control over the app or allow you to respond with more than a dismiss or um or hangouts open, has open a up keyboard feature are you updated to lollipop on your watch at least updated the lollipop on my watch i'm at like, 504 your... well then yeah yeah you're running the lollipop version of android where um you should be able to type back with uh hangouts you can't really do anything with like twitter or anything like that what were you hoping to do on your watch so that's that's what i was actually looking to do is like for if, if someone tweeted something with a link i could add it to pocket or i could um favorite something favorite retweet something retweet, like that yeah, like okay. those types of things i was i was looking for not just a prompt that 
because one of the things that's interesting that that works really well on this that didn't work on Pebble is the ability to, to dismiss the notification mm -hmm. back on the phone, which mm -hmm. I really like. Away your cards, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the now cards are nice because I use now cards for my commute to and from work. Right. Um, I use Google now for everything. I love it. The, the interesting thing too is I'm, I'm hoping for more because they announced today. I think they have now have 70 apps that they're interfacing with. Um, the now cards. Okay. But it, I, I guess like I, I have used it to, to kind of pull off the remind me this set a timer schedule Think something. Does. Yeah. But I, I guess I was looking for more interaction with the app notifications. There's a little, yeah, more interaction. I agree with you. Yeah, I would definitely use that. It, like retweet especially. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. anytime someone mentions you, you at least favorite it, right? Right. That's that. That's kind of like, it was even on the Pebble, I'm, I'm kind of like, man, I wish I had that little functionality. Because that's what I miss from the Google Glass. Because I could, something could pop could up. Pop. I could tap it and retweet and, or, and, or, and or favorite it. And Did you have one? I, uh, yes. Oh, well, actually, uh, I, I have now, now he has it. So. Which Twitter dropped support for it. So now <laughs> I would have no use for it at right. this point. So it was that useless. Yeah. Well, it, well, just, it, I, I actually, I mean, for, for me and what I want, a lot out of it. Uh, so yeah. I have a 13 month old at home and he like capturing his first steps and his birthday, like all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's phenomenal. I will say the battery life horrible is horrible, horrible. But, and, and as a, as I wear glasses, naturally and i'm not a huge fan of contacts i actually um will wear contacts with those and then keep them on for pretty much the day yeah and just grab random video and all kinds of stuff and it do that wear, works great do you wear it to work no no i've i've a couple people i've heard socially it's too awkward yeah, yeah. certainly well and i work for a institution where that kind of I was going to say, would be I, frowned upon. I, I was wondering if you would have even um, tried for that one. We, we have enough, like, like you were talking about your rooted work phone. The Pentagon? We can't, <laughs> we can't get the fruit stand. You work at, uh, yeah, yeah. at the fruit stand? We can't, we can't use rooted or jailbroken phones at work, like stuff mm -hmm. like that. So uh, there's just a, we have a whole security team. It's a large corporation. Yeah. We'll just say. It's, it's not like, like I know some people that work at um, someone that's a government funded place mm -hmm. and they, they have like people with automatic rifles at the door and oh, they geez. they can't bring wow. cell phones or any kind of electronic technology into wow. work with them it has to stay in the car we're not that you bad. would have to pay me a lot well and that's that's what actually kept me i, I actually was kind of looking at working at one of those types of places you're mm -hmm. not allowed to have a social media presence i'm out yeah that's <laughs> what i'm out. like man oh, that's nah I'm not wow. ready for that. So, but that being said, the, the Moto the Moto 360, I do like it. Mm -hmm. It's just, I guess my point is, is that in reading or seeing a, a lot of what Apple's going to be bringing to the table, mm -hmm. I hope that Android Wear is quick on the heels of all of the, the capability. Yeah, I'm hoping they pick up because I, I was never sold on Apple Watch in general. Like everything I kept hearing is like, my Pebble's fine, my Pebble's fine. Uh, maybe Android Wear would be nice, you know, if they get the compatibility over to, to the, the iPhone. The, the Android Wear app is nice mm -hmm. and the, the Motorola app is nice and there's a lot of people that have made... It's, it's interesting, right? Because I think I look at Android and I, I feel like you can really tweak and customize and use random launchers and all kinds of stuff along, along that. Yeah that from that standpoint um which i really really like mm -hmm. but i feel like their developers always don't jump on board with the basics it's like you can root and you can do all this magical stuff and like i know people that have done tap use tasker and their device when they get in their car automatically switches modes and, and mm -hmm. does all this but crazy that's stuff that's not they, something a normal person right. is going to be able to do the, versus that, exactly normal people get iphones yeah, <laughs> pretty much, right? And there's but more of them, unfortunately. And, and that's right, and I, I'm totally in. Like, my mom totally needs an iPhone. Right, right. right. She, with seeing us with Android, she bought one and hates it because she can't... There's The menus are a little bit too in-depth, and mm -hmm. everything with Android software is just expects you to know a little bit. Like, their menu button is three dots. Like, you know, in most apps, in the top corner, you hit the three dots. Not everybody knows what that is. 
Why is it called people instead of contacts? Yeah, she can't feel <laughs> like it's just people. <laughs> well, it's funny too because like you have to know Android to Android because the the three dots in the upper right hand corner is only for four dot three screens and larger, or maybe it's right. five. If if it's a smaller screen, it's a soft button at the bottom, or it's right. a hard button at the bottom. And Samsung, between versions of of Android on the same device, switches what the buttons do. Mm, right <laughs> so like you have to know what device you're using on what carrier to know what the buttons that's, that, do that's like, always been my thing with families like you get an android i cannot support you or, or everyone has to own. have the same one yeah yeah and i i mean i have a nexus so i was like get a nexus because hopefully that will be the same right you have a nexus 6 uh i have a i have the 7 the tablet which just got that's discontinued by the way yeah. but then i just saw it well, in best buy as well. well so no so they stopped they they stopped selling it in the Google store. It's still out there. It's still out there. And typically they carry the OS. I mean, Mm -hmm. the first Nexus four just stopped getting updates, (laughs) which was made, Uh, I think by Samsung. I think Jamie, you're super happy with your, I'm a HTC fan. I love you. I have the HTC one M eight. I take a lot of pictures and it has that dual capture camera on the back. It's probably too dark in here to see, but Mm -hmm. it has, you know, you can pull things to the foreground and, or set things in, in the background I, I love htc and i just got they're out uh the updates are a little bit later i don't know why for htc but i just got lo- lollipop and i think chachi just got lollipop on his uh lg phone because he was commenting that it's just as big as the uh the download for uh hearthstone <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah. i i use i have the galaxy s3 i have the galaxy camera which i love htc equipment i used to run a lot of the old windows phone pocket pc that mm-hmm. were all htc because they were heavily uh moddable which they were they were the ones that i was eyeing if i was going to go android yeah. because I, but chachi had the first uh, those first the g1 and the g2 mm-hmm. with t-mobile and they, they, they their equipment was great i got i have the um s6 mm-hmm. but if i were to pick up a device it would probably either be nexus or a, a me HTC. too I, the, the m1's nice if i jump it's nexus or bus even mm-hmm. if i i kind of want like i i now i'm playing with that Agreed. idea because my brother Agreed. my brother's now over on the uh, uh moto x i think and i That's think great he's phone. And, and i think he's because he, it was just a replacement phone because his iphone got stolen uh, at work uh, he got it back it was like five i think um but he's like sold on android and my nephew just picked up an android and they're just they're, they're I, I, seeing them I, it brought a tear to my eye to see them over. you're a tech but. guy though i just don't i don't know why do you do are you apple for stability is yes you just, yes very much so because i i am the person that when i was in high school and on through i built my computers there's no other way to do this and then i started going video like as my primary and that's yeah. when it's like okay this thing needs to never stop working because then I stop working and I can't tinker anymore. So I buy I, I buy Macs for the thing I work on day to day. Now I still like we're running our Wirecast this video system on a, on a PC more, mostly for cost. And I figure since I can, it won't have a bunch of other stuff on it. I, I feel like it's going to pre- be pretty stable here on Windows 8. Um, I agree. My 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 computers are Macs, but I right. have all Android phones. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. There you go. But um, but no, I, mean, I like I don't, you know I like the synergy through it. I I, I like the iPhone. It's cleaner. Um, I fe- and it feels too. I mean, the little bit I've I've you know having an Android tablet and everything, I still prefer how it is. Like mm. I like the Nexus, but it also made me. I saw somebody doing video things on an iPad at PodCamp, and I'm like, I gotta get an iPad again. And that led to our discussion where Chilla has now the Google Glass, and now I have a Pebble in his old iPad. Um, so, <laughs> Ooh, nice trade. I, I'm getting a lot more use out of this stuff than I was a Google Glass, and I'm, and, I mean, look, he's... I, I'm look, getting a lot look of, at all the stuff, of the Google Glass. Look at all the new stuff he's getting. He doesn't need this stuff. I mean, it's going I in a drawer. I will trade you my 13-inch for your 17-inch. <laughs> Oh, I, I made out on the screen real estate big time on that one, but <laughs> when I will say the thing I the thing I like and it, it it's a double edged sword with the Nexus line. You're the you're the first to get the next version, right? But you're the first to get the next version. You're the first to get all the bugs. <laughs> uh, I, I the right, Nexus, but, but awesome. I kind of like that. I mean, it gives amazing, me a good. Go, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. They do an amazing job of releasing all the other new phones right before the Nexus. 
So I am still <laughs> yet to own a Nexus device because I keep jumping. Like this time I jumped a little bit too early and got the LG uh, G3. Mm-hmm. And the G4 and, was just announced today, I think. Yeah, I, I'm waiting. I'm Nexus from here on out. I have to wait until the next Nexus. Nice. And I, I like the Nexus 7. I, I, I mean, it is nice to see all... and. It's nice to see all of what Google intended for you to have, because one of the interesting things is by having that Nexus device, like the the shade drop down and being able to, to Chromecast right from the screen mm-hmm. is really cool. Well, you can't do it with certain other, other manufacturers' handsets on Lollipop, mm-hmm. which surprised That's me, cool. right? You think, oh, this is, a, this is the new feature in Lollipop. I got Lollipop on this device. Even downloading the app, the the Chromecast app, the, it kind of it's very skittish with with the ability to screencast. So it's nice to see Google setting the reference design, and it, and it's interesting to see what bits and pieces other manufacturers take. Are you running Cyogen Mod, or what? What are you running? It? You said you're rooted. Right now, I'm running a a, a ROM called it's called Cloudy Two Point Two. It's um, it's amazing. Buggy, it's, I can see it. <laughs> I, there was just a bug there, yeah. It's definitely buggy, like it, especially when you're on the cutting edge. Like I use the nightly builds. Like I don't, I don't mess with waiting for a stable build. I just want to see what they did next. I know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna brick my phone, you know. So I feel that I'm okay with a couple of bugs, mm-hmm. but um, I'm running Cloudy 2.2, which is just it's stock um lollipop for the LG G3, but uh. It's de-bloated and has a bunch nice. of kernel tweaks and things like that. Cool. Awesome. From the chat room, we had some uh, commentary during this. Uh, well, other way, uh, Alex, who's working on a WordPress for me, uh, gave a screenshot of what it should not look like when you import a CSV into WordPress. Um, <laughs> but other than that, uh, he says the only upgrade he wishes he, his uh, smartwatch had was the ability to talk into it to answer calls, which is, is going to be an, uh, an Apple Watch thing, of course. Um, he usually has his headphones on, so that sort of solves that issue too. So that's one thing I'm hearing with the Apple Watch. Siri works better on the watch, anecdotally. Hmm. So I'm wondering if there's, I'm wondering if there's some some kind of code split at the OS level because I don't know if you read where they switched somehow how Siri sourced again on the back end, mm-hmm. and I don't know if they're doing a rollout where certain accounts are getting it or how they're converting people over to new Siri. Okay. But her responses were supposed to be a lot better. And it, they, they, some, some company uh, Siri has had a lot of sass with me lately. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm thinking they're, they're in the midst. We're in the midst of Siri 3.0. Oh, so, it, and I have a feeling we'll probably hear more, even more about that at WWDC. Because mm-hmm. I have a feeling they're going to do more with developers being able to interface with Siri and Apple TV and Siri. All right. But who knows? Well, I want to talk a little bit about Google phones because we didn't get to it since we had our cord cutting special last week. And I think it was just kind of coming out when, when, when we were doing that even that, for that recording. But in the meantime, I want to throw a shout out to some people that have been supporting us. First of all, you know, I haven't been talking to them about, about them, uh, talking about them a lot on the show, but they're over on our website, boldpittsburgh.com, friends of the show, doing some cool, cool stuff. Um, talking about some of the eateries around town, so please go check them out. Our own Missy Sorg is uh, is writing over there, uh, talking about some uh, bakeries and, and and healthy workout things. And uh, on the other end of that spectrum, big thanks to Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with great pizza here in Beachview, uh, right along the tracks here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, as well as their second location in Carnegie, PA. Again, uh, we, we talked about this before, but uh, uh, getting a proclamation from the city just a couple weeks ago, it was Slice on Broadway day, day, so congratulations on them for that recognition. And as a side, to give them a little bit of service if you're in the, in the area and you want to be a pizza maker, cook, or line cook, they're, they're looking to hire somebody. So so go check it out. Great place, like we talked about the last uh, show here with Rambling Movie Minute. They made a Hello Kitty pizza. <laughs> Two attempts at it, actually. Um, <laughs> these guys are artists with pizza. It's great stuff. If you follow them on Facebook, on uh, Instagram, or follow them PGH underscore slice on Twitter, you will get hungry. Uh, I promise you that. Uh, so go check them out and let them know that you heard about them on the Awesome Cast. So let's get into some news items here. 
Google Project Fi. Are you you had to have been looking into this, chill. <laughs> well, so but it's only available on the Nexus Six. Let's go back to that Nexus thing. It's yeah. right now only on the Nexus Six. It looks like it's going to split the service on whatever's faster between Sprint, T-Mobile, and Wi-Fi. And I have, it's voice and data. It's voice and data data across Asia all go. of that. So so even like the Wi-Fi, it'll be voice. If you're on Wi-Fi, right? Be, I, from what I understand, there'll be voice if you're on Wi-Fi, and I'm guessing they're using like a Hangout backend or something along those lines. That could be. That could be. Or Google Voice. I'm sorry. It's a so it's an MVNO. They're also doing a little bit of like you will get money back on your bill if you over, over. And that's the, that's the part yourself. I didn't understand because it's kind of I, I thought it's it, like it was, Ting. It's you pay. It's pay as you go. If I say I, w- I want five gigs of data for the month, but I only use two, I'll get the thirty dollars back because I think it's ten dollars per gig. gigabyte, and it's twenty dollars for the general service. So you could do okay if you don't use. But there's no data. minutes. But there's no minutes. Everything because your else, voice is voice over IP. Everything so else data. is unlimited. It's all data. That oh okay. So everything's voice over IP. So That's even if I I'm thought. calling, I thought if you were calling, and you're using their back end. I thought like your voice when you're not on Wi-Fi went against your data and there were no minutes. That could be interesting. So there's no minute, there's no per minute, but it's or there's no minutes on the account because it's data. So how how like how many how many kilobytes is is <laughs> it's five minutes of talking on the I phone? I see them I don't doing know. that. That's so weird. That that's how I read one of the articles. Unless, okay. Unless it could have been I I'm misinformed and that they could were be. misinformed. Maybe okay. their packages are big enough to just fit it. That, Big packages is not a good way to start with that. <laughs> Maybe their uh, their plans are just big enough to you know in- incorporate the calling into it. It could be, it could be. Or maybe maybe it's uh, blocked out. You know, because it says unlimited calling. So I I don't think you can call it that and then put the data cap on it. Yeah, I don't know. you know. So, but still, in general though, Google. Re- doing this you know we've heard about rumors about maybe apple doing their own cell service or something like this i, I couldn't see them rolling out something to this effect and i feel like they're doing a solid for t-mobile and sprint helping, yeah. helping them stay relevant yeah i because again it, it still doesn't come near what you would get on verizon service but looking at the map of everything combined together it's still pretty significant mm-hmm. so I, I mean i know around here i mean we you know we go out to the wrestling shows out west noon and there's no t-mobile service we're fine on our at&t phones Right. I don't know what sprints like around the areas, uh, you know, a spotty at best, you know, I heard they, they paid close attention to like metropolitan areas and interstate. Right. Right. So, so they were good for like salespeople who traveled and were driving from place. to Right. Place. And T-Mobile was always like that, too. Even mm-hmm. when they seemed fairly limited, you look at everything. It's still where you will end up. Mm-hmm. If you don't live up on the boonies, you're typically pretty decent with that. A lot of that stuff. Um, if you live in a city, you can really pick any yeah. So, and then the people I think of that that are on Sprint, T-Mobile, they don't leave the city that much, or they're leaving directly to another city, for whatever work. Yeah, when doing. I was on T-Mobile, that was my main thing. I lived yeah. in the city, and I was. But versus like some of the clientele that my videographers used to work with a few years ago, like when they're going to steel mills and the, mm-hmm. who knows where, they need something better than that. So. Um, I don't know. I have you guys been looking at this with the with the Google Fi? Uh, uh, what do you think of Google doing their own service here? I'm I'm in. Uh, <laughs> as I said, I'm a fanboy. It's, too, it's like <laughs> somebody who's all in for Apple service too. But I think it would definitely screw everything up if Apple did one and Google did one. Like, what? Why would you have AT and T, T Mobile, Sprint, or any of the smaller networks? Because you want to stay with an iPhone. I guess if you're an iPhone, you know, if you have to have it. But if Google has one and Apple has one, wouldn't you want that service? Like one or the other? Right. But, but it's going to come down to phones. Do you want a Nexus or do you want an iPhone? Yeah. But what about AT&T, Sprint, and Verizon, and T-Mobile, and all that? <laughs> they're gone. Yeah. No, because, the, I mean, they're the ones, it's Sprint and T-Mobile running the Google Fi network. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, you're not having Apple and Google putting up their own towers. That's just, yeah. why well, they would they start over? Spectrum or anything. No, no, why would they start over at this point? They're really yeah. just riding they this other thing. Them. Yeah, they, yeah, they could yeah. buy them. I mean, well, hell, AT, what is it, AT&T and DirecTV are coming together now? That's, oh, are they? Yeah, Remember they, when AT&T tried to buy T-Mobile? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Remember when it was singular? <laughs> yes. Remember the sidekick, the T-Mobile side? Oh, I love the sidekick. <laughs> the, the sidekick had, had a Telnet phone. client on it. Oh, jeez. You could really feel like a hacker with that thing. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> you hack the, the Gibson scroll. with that you one. Can, you could you could hack a Cisco router with that. Chachi had that thing, and he'd always <laughs> do the flip thing until it wore out. <laughs> The they finally just shut that down only like a year ago. Yeah, I know. So, because the the side and Microsoft somebody out bought there that. was rocking that sidekick. Still. Microsoft bought that company that uh, what was the right. name? They Danger. Did, it was Danger, and they did their yeah. own kind of mini feature phone thing a few mm-hmm. years ago that just went absolutely nowhere. Um, but yeah, it was supposed. When to be, will it, they stop with the gimmicks like the S six Edge and like the. The curve. Yeah, I can't do an LG Flex. I can't do an S6 <laughs> Edge. Like, what are you doing? Oh, by Stop. the way, my brother is in the chat, and he's uh, he's uh, sticking up for himself. By the way, not completely sold on Android. Just sticking with the Moto X because I like the bigger screen. Still prefer the iPhone. I thought he was going to say, I still love my sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's old enough to have had a sidekick. So <laughs> Awesome. Um <laughs> What else we got here? Uh, uh, you're, you're, go you're, you have the one Facebook Messenger adds free video calling to take Yes, Skype. I feel like we did this already with Skype. Didn't, remember there was a button on your Facebook and you could call somebody and it worked via Skype through the browser. Yeah, but it was only through the browser. And nobody ever had the button for me to call them. I went to try to do this a couple times and they just it never connected. I, I don't know if it, it was like a yeah, JavaScript I, thing or a Java a JS or something like yeah, that. I, yeah, I don't know what that was running. Here's here's the interesting thing about video, right? And and maybe all the kids today, those those whippersnappers, all have Gmail accounts. But like my mom still uses her Comcast right. account. Right. Um, my grandfather has a Gmail account. But like I know people that are on Outlook.com. I still have a Hotmail account because there is no way it, that. I think Microsoft can figure out how to port my Xbox account from eight years ago over over to anything else. Microsoft has such an account I, problem. I've tried I've tried it's like horrible. six times to move my Xbox account. But anyway, even signing up for Skype is ridiculous. Yeah. So this is where I feel like Google does a really good job with the Gmail account as long as you're in their their world. Right. Microsoft does a really good job with Skype and Office 365, and all that stuff, but you have to be in their world. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is the this one is, thing that both Facebook and Apple do well is you don't have to have some Apple email account to use their store and to use their products. And Facebook, you can have any account and use their products. So uh, it allows people... I think this is going to give Facebook a, a, a huge upper hand when it comes to... People don't have to already be part of another ecosystem to use this service. It's going to be, do you, do you have a phone with the Messenger app? Do you have a computer? Then here you go. And we don't care what email service you have and, and everything else. So, I mean, I, you do have to create an account. And it, just creating an account on, on Android gives you a Gmail. Yeah. 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 So all those services still, Apple, uh, Facebook, any of those, even Twitter, whatever, you have to s- create an account, right? So you create an it, account, and it's, but, it's, but it's linked to a Gmail account. My point is is that Android, because it's a Google product, the, I, can't, I can't use my Hotmail account to create a, a all Google Play. All your stuff for your Android. Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. To, I have to be in their ecosystem. Facebook, I, I use whatever email address I want, mm-hmm. and that's, that's kind of like my key to the front door. But it do, they don't. Facebook doesn't care if I'm using Microsoft services or Google services or whatever services. And it seems like when it comes to these types of video calling, I think it starts with the family first. Right. The family's already connected on this. Mom's on Facebook. It's uncool, but at least I can talk to her. Right. She can see what I'm doing. Now I can get a video call. And we didn't have to buy everybody an iPhone, which ended up happening. Yeah. But. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, for the especially for those families that you do have the mix. You know, I mean, like like you over there, you know, with your you're on your Android and and, and your family's on, you know, uh, uh, iPhone. You got something to connect to do that. You know, with, that's not FaceTime. But but I feel, but I'd also argue, like a little bit other than your your account issue there. Hangout already did this a little bit. It was the FaceTime for the rest of us that didn't have to worry about it, mm-hmm. right? Um, you know, for people that were cross platform. So, but but. It, as long as you had a Gmail account. As long as you had a Gmail account. That's the thing. Right. You you're know. back to that again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel you're like right. this, this you're, you're lets me be independent. Right. Yep. 
And that's where you, you fall back to like the grandma problem we talk about yeah. where like, yeah, you can do this. You just have to do this. And that's where we fall apart with the mm-hmm. plans. That's where mom, grandma, grandpa goes, nah, what? you know, and, and, yeah, and they just over. figured out email. Now they have to have two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. We're like, what? Then how do I know? I don't want to miss one. I mean, my dad still has an AOL.com account. It was somebody somebody was telling me about their boss has an AOL and like they hear from the office every once in a while that you got mail. Like it's just like <laughs> yeah. still a thing that you, you can do. It's fantastic. I could send him a lot of free hours. I've got these discs. <laughs> yeah. He'd probably love those. I knew oh. I saved them for some mm-hmm. reason. The artwork we made with those things was pretty <laughs> tremendous. So all right. <laughs> we're so pretty good. hacky. Yeah, they were doing hack jokes. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I wanted to, I don't know how useful this is. And so, Chilla, maybe maybe you remember because apparently this is not the first attempt at this. This this um, it's an iPhone case called the Pop Slate, and what it does is it gives your iPhone a second, as they say here on Engadget, not so useful screen. So it's an e-ink screen basically on the back of your phone. And we, I actually covered a Android device that was like this. That's right. It, it was yeah. built in, right? It was built. It was. It was. Uh, yeah. It was actually built in, and I. I really like the concept mm-hmm. personally. So it's a nice, like, non-powered, you know, low-powered screen where you could get those readouts potentially. Like here in the picture, they're showing you're getting a, uh, a U.S. Airways pass that you can have, and you don't have your phone on to go you know, zapping that battery or anything like that. There's some other kind of uh, there's other kind of uh, applications here they talk about. You can throw up a calendar for instance, um, and it looks like they got a kind of a Pebble app style app store for this, I think. And you put pictures on it and everything. I like the idea just for the pictures. How much <laughs> is this? Let me buy it. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to have one next week, aren't you? Um, I don't it's know, a customizable just, case. But then you it's can't big, flip your phone over so your coworkers can't see your text. They're just well, going to yeah, show up on just, the back. Then I bet you, I bet you can make it where oh, it's 130 bucks for an e that's where it falls apart. That's, yeah. Because <laughs> you got to think it's that. What is it connecting with? I think it's Bluetooth. It's, it's Bluetooth. So there's you got a Bluetooth chip in there. You got the e-ink. Um, plus it's a case. Plus it's, you know it has to be batteried by. Or does it connect in? No, it actually connects in on the bottom of the phone. So, so yeah, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> Throw like a Mophie juice pack in there too, and you'd be good to go. <laughs> it kind of <laughs> needs to be, right? Maybe it is a little bit. So, um, oh wait, no. It, it's uh, biggest selling point is that it doesn't need your iPhone's battery. It comes with its own internal battery and lasts uh, at least a week on a single charge. So you're not worrying about one more thing you have to plug in. Wow. So, I don't have a Kindle or anything with that paper screen. Uh, the closest, I guess, is the Pebble for me. Right, I mean, it's, 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 it's kind of a little it's different, e-ink. right? Yeah. It's, e-ink. it's well, yeah, it's still ink, but it's not paper. It's not that paper white paper. Thing. White. It, it's this is like general LED, yeah, thing. I'm what's looking. your what's your battery life on like on there? On the Pebble, yeah, oh, days. It's or like getting three days because I get a lot amazing. of tweets on this thing. So, and that's heavy use. If, if I, that's heavy use for me, yeah. If, if you're if you're average Joe, you're probably get like when I was. When I first started off with the Pebble and I didn't have all the notifications turned on and everything, I was getting six days out of it. Yeah, yeah. And wow. I, and that's the biggest thing. Because, I mean, the, the, the wear, it, you're, you can't just look down and see the time on there, can you? Is it is it on? on? It's on, It's not on. on. I, I tap it. That's supposed to be one of the updates in the new like that's the, the big, version that's the big killer for me is i i feel like that's that's going to be too awkward. Like, I like that I'm, I'm working here and I can peek down and see what the time is or what the well, I can't see the time because I always have a notification up but see what that last notification was hi uncle crappy at the west end bridge from swarm um you know that kind of stuff uh, but uh so but I'm, no. a, I'm a, I, I mean I take this off the charger every morning at probably about 6 30 in the morning and I'm mm-hmm. at 22 percent left for the day right the, the one thing that I am starting to fine tune on here mm-hmm. is what apps I allow to notify the watch because you really audit after you start getting notifications to your wrist. You're like, I really de- don't need to know about the card pack sale in WWE Supercard right now. Okay, <laughs> like this needs to get turned. Well, off. that and like I so at work, I probably get an email every three minutes. Ooh, and for those notifications, and and the funny part is because we're secure, the only thing I get is you have an email. 
I can't see like who it was from or what the so content it's not even useful. is. It's not even near useful. It, it, and it, it's actually worse because it's so distracting now. I want to go check my email and I'm trying to get something done and I'm like, right. well, there's an email. Right. There's another email. This is my argument for I why. I read my emails on here. Not his secure work, though. Oh, That's yeah, I can yeah, read yeah. my Gmails on there. Yeah, no it, problem. It, yeah And it's... I love, like, the inbox integration and stuff like that where I'm getting the most important ones bubbling up. I mean, that's great. But but the, but the where I'm getting pinged at work, that's where mm. I don't like it. And, that, and that's my arguments for don't turn email notifications on because you do not need to be a... That, that, uh, email is not a beck and call system. It's a when it's convenient system but that's But that's where inbox... Yeah. Inbox, inbox is, is amazing. Inbox is so great. Because it, because it only gives you the ones you somehow magically Google is jacked I'm into my have brain. That. I flipped my. How did it know? <laughs> <laughs> I finally get to the point where every day this week I've gotten to a point once or twice a day where I see the sun underneath inbox. <laughs> I, I'm like, I forgot about this. So, but I always leave that one in there because I have this like outline about social media that Dutter sent me like two months ago. And I'm like, I'm going to sit down and read this thing. And I just leave it there. And it's just the one thing sitting there. I at least move it to the next day. So um, I'll probably talk about that. I, I changed up my getting things done to do list this week uh, on the way I kind of uh, uh, get through them. And uh, it's it's so relaxing now. I'm, I'm, I'm not coming into the show today with a giant list that I'm just going to have to parse through tomorrow. You know, it's a lot of putting off, but more inventive putting off, I guess. Um, okay, on that note, we need to wrap this thing up so we can go talk about video games with my brother, of all people, on uh, Boss Battle. Join us in the chat room here. They're going to start getting uh, uh, a little... Oh yeah, they're 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 getting they're getting going in the chat room. Um, so hey, I want to touch base on a couple real quick things on the way out the door here. First, a big shout out to our friends, um, our friends on Twitter. We haven't we've talked about them on this show. Uh, Trust Lingerie, they're an Alpha Lab company. Uh, they just had a Kickstarter. Uh, for the next phase of their development, and uh, I think in under a week they met our goal. Is, is, was that? what you saw but i, I, I saw so, yeah. a tweet about it today and I, I feel like less than a week we were helping them out re retweeting their thing um they have been all over the place uh, apparently they like wrestling they're all into that stuff so um i've been keeping an eye on them as well uh so uh good news there for um for the uh, alpha lab company and also uh demo day coming up i believe june 2nd i just got the save the date rsvp okay, yeah, thing i, I think email, i forwarded it to you so uh well, a few of us will be down there representing for that um also premiering this week like i mentioned you jag off uh is going to be on awesome chat the debut edition looking for that thursday on awesomecast.net something's happening friday guys Pro what is that oh I, I, oh I, I, us? something yeah. i friday, think we May have uh, we're live at arcade comedy theater 8 p.m. Please come out. It's Star Wars, our 100th episode celebration. It's BYOB. $10 at the door. Um, there's tons of comedians. Check out the flyer. Follow us on Twitter at Does This Hold Up. Uh, Instagram is at Does This Hold Up. And our email is Does This Hold Up Podcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> there you go. Uh, tickets went on sale for TEDx Pittsburgh. We're actually talking with one of the guys from uh, that, that crew tomorrow. It's going to be on edition two of Awesome Chat. And uh, what else is going on? Oh, I forgot to add it to the sh to the notes. Um, next, I think it's next week or the week after. Microsoft has Ignite, so that's their replacement for I think TechEd. Okay. So stay tuned for more Microsoft. Is news. that like their WWDC kind of Google I/O ish kind of uh, thing? I think it's more like yeah, kind of. I think they already had their de developer. Conference. They have so many developers. They, they, they have like ones for Visual Basic. And... Yeah, but the, and the, but then they took like four conferences and combined them into one. Oh. So like their some of their enterprise Synergy. stuff. Yeah, there you go. So so they have they have Ignite coming up, followed up by Google with I/O, May twenty. I think Microsoft's <laughs> is May eighth. So the wife has a new computer. They'll have to talk about it. Some is it point. A, is it a Chromebook? No, I didn't talk her into. I lost the Chromebook battle. Um, but she's ingrained with Office, so mm -hmm. it makes more sense. And we we got under the budget, and we got a touch screen. Oh, nice! Found the right markdown oh. thing at Walmart. <laughs> so <laughs> it's an HP. It looks pretty slick, actually. Cool. So uh, we'll, we'll hopefully get her on a future episode to get her impressions upgrading from our Windows Seven. Jeez, what was that? Two thousand nine. She had that computer. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty significant upgrade for her. Uh, Google I.O., May 28th, 29th. Mark your calendars for that. WWDC, of course, June 9th. Create Festival here in Pittsburgh, June 10th through 12th from the uh, Tech Pittsburgh Technology, Technology Council. Got things mixed up there a little bit. WordCamp Columbus in July. Uh, I 
can't think of that's the week and I'm busy. If I'm not, I really kind of want to go check wasn't that there, out. Wasn't there a WordPress thing at the hardware? There's a WordPress mm-hmm. event. Uh, it's on our Twitter and our Facebook. Uh, WordPress for Beginners um, uh, class. I think it's it's like five bucks or something at the hardware store up here in Allentown. The home of hey, Epicast. Network. Epicast home is. of the Epicast. I've seen the digs. <laughs> we, I, I was actually down there in the green screen uh, filming for somebody I can't remember for an award that I... Uh, What's that one that What's Her Face was at the party for? Uprise. Uh, Julia Roberts. Oh. <laughs> J- Julia Roberts, of course. Yeah, sorry. Pretty Woman? Pretty Woman. Uh, was it, was it Goldie Julia Hawn? Roberts, was, yeah, she's all right. Was it Goldie Hawn was almost Pretty Woman or something like that? Or, yeah, that, you got that off crazy. of our show. I like yeah, that. that. Was, we got a listener here, Mike. <laughs> Uh, tech cocktails this Thursday. I but I will be busy because I'll be up in Wexford at uh, uh, somewhere in Wexford. I don't know what the address is. It's on the thing. Uh, I'm going to be shooting a how-to video, and I think I'm going to film it on my phone, maybe a secondary camera. Whoops, no Siri. With this iPad, and we're going to put them together in iMovie, and I'm going to show you how to do a how-to video, very bare bones, and put it on the YouTube's right before your eye. Cool. This is my technology magic show. Last week with Point Park University, I did my one man, uh, my one man show of what I'm excited for in video and podcasting. So that also is on Sorgatron.com. How are you, you going to get the that. video from the phone to the tablet? Do you have the camera connector kit, or are you going to use AirDrop? I have the camera. That's what I did in San Francisco okay. when I did that robot video. Okay, I shot it on. Uh, the phone brought it over and I movied on the iPad because I wanted to try big screen iMovie because I I've all how many years I wanted to try that's why I bought your an MacBook iPad. Pro with 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 Retina display is not but, uh, big enough <laughs> that I didn't want to put on a plane with me to San Francisco. That's, that's true. I, I was traveling light, but I had to make something because I was out there for two weeks without making a podcast, and it just drove me insane. <laughs> What's the point of having all these devices if you can't use them for traveling? Like, that's if you, right. If you have a big computer, that's for home use. <laughs> I'm gonna take my iPad. You feel cool. You're like fits right in my pocket in here in this uh, backpack here. <laughs> like you, you feel special. Like oh, <laughs> also, I overcompensated between the phone, the iPad, and the Nexus. I plugged them all, just filled them with movies for the plane, and just didn't even watch half of them. So uh, well, I, was I like, did that. I actually got a Wi-Fi enabled hard drive the one time for a trip. <laughs> yeah. and, and it's like no one. Yeah, I didn't read the fine like, print. This you? battery will last four hours. I'm like, I got. A terabyte of movies, but I can only make it four hours on the plane. You gotta pick the good four hours, man. <laughs> There's no plugs on the plane. Man, I wish. They need just an independent electrical system on there. But I don't know. I'm no plane scientist. Um, also, uh, check out all the mini awesome casts, everything else going on. Uh, and please uh, check us out here Tuesdays, live.awesomecast.net, about 7 p.m. Eastern time. You can join us in the chat room like uh, everybody, like Brother Sorg correcting me alex Carr is out there in california uh wheels telling us about oh he by the way he is still loving his new asus tablet with the uh keyboard connector thingy i almost sold her on a tablet with the keyboard connector uh windows tablet i figured that'd be enough for her right mm-hmm. but no she got a laptop that's fine that's fine i'm not better it's I'm lappable not better. <laughs> i'm not better it's lappable it's lappable i mean that's reason uh oh surface sighting in the front row of my my talk last week at PPA. oh really yeah that was that was really really special pro, like pro three or I don't know, man. It's a surface. It was there. It was on the like an RT. It was, a room. It was like eight listen, years old. Listen, there's a room full of IMAX. All I saw were Apple logo- logos and foreheads, and one <laughs> dude with a surface in front of it. That's all I got. What color was it? Blue. He so just keeps like fiddling with the cord the, the whole time. He's not or... taking notes. He's just like, ah, I won't plug No, in. he's the, one that, he's the only one that asks down. questions, actually. So, um, And I got like two new followers and a friend on Hearthstone out of that talk. So it, it was it was social media class. So of course, there's going to be somebody that follows up on that. And then we started talking about Twitch. I have a lot of conversation about that. Um, uh, that's it. Thank you, to Michael Allen, for hanging with this craziness. Uh, thank you, the guys from Does This Hold Up podcast, and check them out there Friday. And, uh, and Mike, thank you for having us on, man. You do a lot for podcasting in Pittsburgh. Thank you, and man. Please, please, open invitation. Come on our show. Anytime. Time. Pick a movie. We got to do the hackers, man. We got to okay. throw down the hackers. You guys should just. You guys should just promote Friday as as Star Wars Episode One Hundred. Because it would make it seem like you guys got a future copy of like Star Wars. From- <laughs> <laughs> we went in our TARDIS. To, uh, I guess it would be like 2000 at this point with these fucking oh, sorry, oh, TJ. with these breaks. Uh, <laughs> we traveled to like uh, what 2000. 
Oh my god, three thousand something <laughs> yeah. if it's going to be episode one hundred. <laughs> we can skip around just like the prequels. Do. We started with six, seven. Wait, oh, four, four, four guys. Numbers. Four, five. I got you flustered from cursing. <laughs> Thank you, our awesome guests. Thank you, our awesome chat room, rocking all night. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.